society and raise a raise back live again. Coming from Kutakana, the Dominican Republic. Woo! Man, oh man, oh man. It is lit fire. The girls are out tonight. Raise a raise is out tonight. Free society is out tonight. Man, oh man, oh man. Kutakana, it is on fire, guys. Fire! And we are here to speak with my guy, Free Society. Salute! Hey! News, the travel news, you know, and it just so happy to be, I do like the, uh, the uh, Passport Bro smoke shows yeah, also. Yeah. Tell, tell us about that, tell us about that. How do you feel about that? That's Nin Ninjas perfect. got beef, man. Ninjas got smoke, that's how I feel, you know what I'm it's saying? A, it's a lot of beef in this travel space. I, Ninjas I got scores to settle, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, what I'm gonna say? <laughs> what happens to this traveling and having fun, man? Like, that, that's out the window now, man. It's it's funny because uh, I, used, I used to feel the same way, right? What happens to traveling and just having fun? But I believe when you mix traveling with social media, which YouTube is, that's where it becomes an issue. Like we've seen Instagram beefs all the time, even without, outside the travel space. We've seen people get ran up on, even lose their life, rest in peace, through Instagram, Instagram beefs. Now I believe YouTube is becoming that also, right? Now hopefully no one ever loses their life, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it'll get that far, but uh, I believe us as a people we like to we like the battle uh jay-z versus Nas, right you know what i'm saying uh um who's ll ll cool j versus uh my guy you know you, you, you know you know with the tattoo you know what i'm saying so you know ll cool j his battles you know the battle rap has been just like uh so i think i, I think i think us as as a people hip-hop culture we take all of that to youtube also you know what i'm saying and so they come to my channel, Razor Ray's Raise channel, and just, you know what? They say, hey, I got smoke for this guy. Let me hit up Razor Ray's. Raise. Raise Razor Ray's, yo. Yo, let me, let's do a live. I'm gonna hop on your panel when you, when you, when you, when you got an open panel, and I'm gonna go at this guy. And I, and I allow it, you know what I'm saying? Would you, would you consider yourself a mediator, or you just give them a platform to yeah. disclose their, their, their discomfort for the person they, they wanna go against? I would say I consider myself a mediator, you know what I'm saying? Also, I, and I do give them the platform. I try to be the mediator and try to soothe things out, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But for the most part, I think that, uh, you know, I try to do my best as far as soothing it out at the end, you know what I'm saying? And so people don't have hard feelings at the end, you know, but they do have a place to come on social media, on YouTube, and air out their feelings. So I don't, I don't want people pulling up on each other, you know what I'm saying, in real life. So I give them a chance to come here, air it out, and we try to, you know, soothe out the, the differences in the end, you know what I'm saying? Do you do a lot it, of times, it, it, it works at a lot of times, you know? Do you do it fairly? Do you give each person a time to talk? Or, like, how does it work? Like, how do you, because I've seen a lot of your lives where some people feel like they don't have enough time to speak. They ask you to shut their mic off. They ask you, can they speak? Like, how do you feel when you have to give people time to speak? Like, like you understand what I'm saying? I, and, and I can understand each person state me that you're raised. Uh, mute the guy mic, let me talk, let me let me talk longer. And I understand, um, sometimes I allow them to talk longer. Like I'll mute the other person's mic if he's just going on and on. And I'll allow the other person to go ahead and get his point across, right? So, and I know there's a lot of heated feelings going on. So I don't take it personal when they say, yo Ray, you need to mute him, mute him, mute him that. And they get mad at me because they think I'm giving that other person more time to talk than them. So I allow that because I know their emotions are running wild. They got smoke for each other, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I try to be as fair as possible, but I'm also running a, a show. I try to make it to where the, the, the audience, people that's viewers that are watching or being entertained and not allowing one person to dominate the whole, you know, uh, conversation and putting my viewers to sleep also. So it, there's a fine balance that I that I have. I gotta, I gotta worry about my viewers mm -hmm. and also try to keep it fair enough for the people that's, that's the, the guests that are doing their smoke on the, on the smoke show, you know what I mean? So 
you know. But uh, I think I balance it out pretty good. Sometimes it's not balanced 50, 50, 50, but that's just the way it is, man. So, uh, but your show, your, 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 your show is- I try is, to be as fair as possible. But it's smoke and it's also information as well too, right? Yeah. Because you also disclose a lot of mishaps that happen in the travel space. Uh, what would you say is the worst place where a lot of people get into trouble at? Meaning getting, you know, with, with, with the Scopolamine. Well, of course Scopolamine, it's only gonna be Colombia. That's Scopolamine, Scopolamine in Medellin. Yeah, well, of course, uh, free society. And that's a good question. You know, well, a lot of a lot of brothers been getting got out there inside of Medellin, you know what I'm saying? We all know Medellin, there's Scopolamine in Medellin. Um, I, I've seen a couple of new reports out there in Brazil, uh, Rio. You know, and it's, um, I always tell people this, you know, and, and a couple of people don't don't even know what a scopolamine is. Mm. And they fly out there to Medellin and they just like uh, get caught up. And it's just like, man, uh, I'm telling you today, you know, some of the best looking beauties are in Medellin, Colombia, right? Definitely, definitely. But there is an element of danger now because even the, the U.S. State Department said, look, you cannot go into dating apps out there, Tinder, Bumble, because you might get set up to get scoped out there. But that's what I mean. The devil's breath. The devil's breath. Drugged and robbed out there. So, I mean, it comes a point to where... You know, not everybody knows who the hell I am, Razor Rays, or DC Ball, well known. Or, well known. Or, or DC Ball Rob, who, who gives these, this type of information. And unfortunately, guys get caught up. You know, they get caught up. You know, so, uh, I don't know. Why do you think they get caught up? They're not used to the beauty of Colombia, the women, or, or they get... They don't know about that scopolamine, the devil's breath. They don't know that a girl is so sweet when she meets them, when she talks to them, so sweet, so caring. Seem like, seem like she, she gonna let, let you come to a house and meet her mother and, and <laughs> father. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids, yeah, yeah. but not knowing that you know they're planning on scoping you and just taking your stuff in that in that room. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but the, of course the beauty too. I call them the snow bunnies. You know what I'm saying? Colombian women are beautiful. Right? Yeah, you are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. Beautiful. that's Completely to their feminine. credit, they're so feminine. Yeah. To their credit, they are. Yeah, yeah they are. But the uh, the uh, the criminal Gentlemen. woman would take that that beauty and use it to their advantage because they know us brothers. We we like we like them paisas. We like them snow bunnies out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they they take our 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 love for them as a weakness and and prey on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Uh, you know, it, I, I just tell guys to just uh, be careful out there. Watch your drink, of course. Uh, don't date on the uh, Tinder, the Tinder or Bumble, any social media, and uh, go ahead and uh, you know have fun. But uh, watch your drink, watch your drink. And like I said, no social media. Do not get girls off of social media out there. You know that that'll be my my. I, uh, I don't advice. understand why men choose that though. When there's so many women like walking around, like why do they have to use Tinder or any type of app? to find a woman in, in Colombia. I place. don't know. I think it's a force of habit. I think some guys in the USA, they're already used to using that. Gotcha. So it's like a habit. It's like they can't get that out their head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially for newcomers to, to Medellin or Colombia. They think that, you know what? It's the easiest route. As soon as I land, I'm going to have a, a chick waiting for me. So, you know so they pregame before they come. Yes, and, and really, you don't need that. You don't need to do that. True. You know what I mean? You do not need to do that in Colombia. You know, caught the hand of all medicine. You don't need to do that. But I think people got it in their head already to do that. That's what they're comfortable with doing. So they get jammed up. They get caught up with that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, they get they get they get their get stuff stolen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I mean? You know. And what, what's the average knockout time? They're acting for like days, right? Or is it like a day, two days, sometimes? You know. Yeah, that's that's Capone. That's, that's scary. That's yeah. scary. So people get knocked out for two days straight. Yes. And they just come in and take your stuff while you're, you're, you're unconscious. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you just never know. Sometimes I've seen guys walking around outside. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, di disoriented, not knowing where they are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, that, and that could be dangerous too, you, very, very. you know? So, uh, 
you can get robbed twice. Well, I mean, well, you, you don't got nothing else on you to get to rob you with. But, uh, you know, you, or, or walk out, walk in front of a car and get hit. Oh, some photo. We out of DR, we out of DR. You know the motos, guys. Always. So, um, you can, you can walk outside and maybe get hit by a moto because you're disoriented, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just don't know. We wear them damn motos, right? <laughs> after you got scope. So that's a double whammy. Yeah, you know, you're walking yeah. outside after you got scope, and then you, a damn moto hits you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're in the middle of the goddamn street. Drugged up on the devil's breath. The, on the devil's breath, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but man, I'm just like, man. Let me uh, ask you a question. Let's just, let just say, I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. Because a lot of people tell me, look. Thousands of tourists go there and don't have any problems, right? So there's there's a way you can go there and not have problems. It's not one hundred percent guaranteed, but there are always you can go there. Don't wear the jewelry, mm -hmm. right? The, the gold chains, the watches. Mm -hmm. Stay off the dating apps, right? Mm -hmm. And always watch your drink. And that's all I can really, really, really uh, tell you, right? How do you so. feel about throwing money in, in delirium? How do, you, how do you feel about that? Throwing that money, making it, making it rain inside delirium free society is like a. Uh, you're causing inflation, first off, with everything. You're causing inflation, right? You're raising ex ex expectations of not only the girls, but the guys that are around you, that are that are hustling out there, that are trying to get uh, to do tour services. And they say, oh, you got all this money, we're gonna start charging you more. You know what I'm saying? You got all this money to throw away. Well, why are we charging so, so little, right? And it's only natural in the mind of a human being to say, you know what, let's charge these guys more. You know, yes, or yes. let's charge, uh, let's say bros, you know, the veteran bros more. Cause they got, they, you know, they from New York. Oh, they got money, you know what I'm saying? So when, when you say bros, you mean passport bros? Passport or? bros or bros. And I say bros, cause I know some people don't consider themselves passport bros. So I say bros, but uh, you, you know what I mean? If you join that money, everybody is going to be looking for money from you. You know what I'm saying? More money from you, right? Sometimes you just gotta play, play low key, play broke, right? Play broke, play poor, True. and uh, and do the damn thing out there, man. You know, it's uh, but I, but but I say free society, man. You know, uh, these women, these women, man, these women would have a guy doing all types of unnatural stuff that they wouldn't normally do. You know, because like I said, in the States, some of the guys, they, they don't really have access to the such beauty out there as they do in Colombia. And all common sense kind of goes out the window, right? Or not just common sense, they didn't deal with that type of stuff in the States. Even if they did have females in the States, they never dealt with that scopolamine stuff in the States. So true, true. it's just a, it's sad, it's scary. It's really yeah, scary. so it's, 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 it, <laughs> I, but I, I've seen guys get got and still say they still love it and they'll go back. Cause okay. they, they start blaming themselves. I should've did this. So that's, 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 that's Colombian for you. Them Colombian beauties are just, they got them, they got them. Colombian beauties got them. I tell you what though, if I ever went to Colombia and got scoped, I'm never coming back. Like that, that, that's, I promise you that. <laughs> I promise. And I believe you. I believe yeah, you, bro. I'm, I'm I believe you, free. Back, bro. I believe you. That's it. That's it. So what's the average? I see. I watch your lives a lot. You know what I'm saying? I get the notifications. I turn them on. I watch them. What's the highest count that you had in your live? Meaning, like people watching at one time. I mean, I've seen some high numbers in your chat. I think the highest was like 800, legit. Uh, when uh, that was uh, a non a non combined live. You know when uh. Cause sometimes I have a uh, simulcast with certain YouTubers, but solo was like 800 people in the chat, and I believe it was the Zoom to Thailand and Tom Young fight. <laughs> I believe I believe that was it. I believe that was the highest. Now, shout out to Jay Rello. Jay Rello came close. Jay Rello, I, we had 700. Shout out to Jay Rello. We had 700 in the chat when he was like. Uh, escaping from Cartagena when he had that issue out there in Cartagena, you know, with the, with the, with the Chica out there inside best, of the Best content. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we, yeah, so, yeah, so we've had some uh, great numbers with, you know, with, with that, Jay Rello, the, the Zoom to Thailand, Tom mm. Young, so shout out to all them guys, man, shout out to all them guys. You've had yeah. all the greats on your, on your channel, you had uh, Ace, Ace right? versus Check, we, Check, that was a good one. That was my first record setting, we had over, uh, 
like 600 people watching wow. that one. You know, wow. uh, Ace versus Tech. And shout out to those two guys for mm -hmm. actually coming on my platform. I, I had just set up the live stream so I heard what was going on between them in the in, during the day. Yeah. I said, you know what, let me talk about this. I didn't expect neither one of them to come on. Mm -hmm. I just said, let me talk about it. Let me open up a panel. Mm -hmm. And some people started coming on. And then shout out to my guy, uh, Richie Rich, Roll the Tape. Oh, Roll the Tape Salute. He hit up, he was going to do a live stream mm -hmm. with Ace. Okay. But he saw I was already live and we had good numbers already. Had like a good 170 people in the building watching. Mm -hmm. He told Ace, he said, yo, this guy raised a raise. Ace didn't know who it was. He said, this guy raised a raise is on live right now talking about your situation. And okay. Check. He told him to forget about his live stream, mm -hmm. come to my live stream. Okay. And Ace said, all right. He gonna go to my live stream and he, he came through in the chat and said, yo, drop the link. He want to come on. Okay. He came on. Right, the numbers started spiking, going up. Ace is here, Ace is here. Then Checking Effect got word that I was alive with, with, with Ace, mm. and Checking Effect came on. And Incredible. it just ballooned Incredible. to like over 600 people watching, you know, crazy super chat. It was a great, great, epic night, man. Great, great, epic night for the channel. It gave me a great, great boost, you know what I mean? And I, I appreciate both of those guys. And I said, uh, Richie Rich, the, uh, the icon, rolled the tape for giving me salute, that alley salute. hoop. You know, to uh, get Ace Ace uh, live on a on a uh, live stream that day. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So uh, man, I you know, I, I'm just having a, a ball, man. I'm having a ball in this YouTube game, and hopefully that uh, I can keep continue and uh, continue giving uh, good content for the people, and uh, also you know, news, information, helpful information for very, people very, that's, very that's trying to travel to these wonderful places such as Punta Cana. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, everywhere, Costa Rica, even Colombia, um, you know, going to Thailand, you know. You got, do you have a Thailand trip coming up? Yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to do the Thailand towards the end of the year. Okay. When the uh, rainy season is over. I don't want to be out there with no rain, man. I, I can't be out there with the rain. It rains like a mug, I heard out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, so that's what you got planned up? That's Yeah, because I want to be able to go out there and not have the rain, and I want it to be clear I don't want to give it a bad review because of the rain. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to have a clear skies for the most part. Yeah. And uh, give it a fair review. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to be damp dampened by the rain and constant showers and flooding. So I see Mad some wild flooding out there during Mad the flood. Yeah, during the uh, rainy season. Is, is Africa on your radar? Africa on my radar. Cape Verde. Cape Verde, okay. Uh, you know, uh, Capo Verde or whatever. I, I you pronounce it. Capo Verde. Uh, not Kenya, not Nairobi? No. Cape. Friday first. You, Cape Friday first. That's always been ever since like 2015, 16. Mm -hmm. I said if I go to when I go to Motherland Africa, I want to do Cape Friday. Okay. So that was always the plan for me to do. I'ma stick to that. That was always the plan. Cape Friday was gonna be my first Africa uh destination. You know what I'm saying? Since back then. So I'ma stick to that. Yes, Cape Verde. How long would you stay there if you go? I don't know. It's like, it's like how a long is that flight? That flight is incredible, isn't it? Like, what is it? Like? No, it's okay. It's, it's okay. like a day, isn't it? No, it's so okay. It's not. It's not crazy. Oh, well, you know what? What 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 you would do is right in that instance, you would fly into Europe. Like I was in Amsterdam, right? You fly into, into Amsterdam, right? You can get a good flight for like uh like like four hours out of Amsterdam to Cape Verde. Get the fuck out of here! I didn't know that. It's not it's not long. So once you already old on that side, see that's how I would I would do it. I would fly back to Europe, right? Mm -hmm. Hang out in Europe for a bit, mm -hmm. Amsterdam, uh, the Netherlands, with some lights, and then fly over there, and it won't seem like it's a lot. That's a smart you know, thing to do. Now I, I forgot exactly the amount of time from straight from New York to Cape Verde. Yeah. But I mean, if you break it up. Even the price of the flight, it won't seem like a lot because you're like you're getting a little trip inside the Netherlands into the end for like a day or two, like yeah, two yeah. nights, and then you go over there for like cheap. Like you can fly from the Netherlands, Amsterdam to Cape Verde for pretty cheap. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know it was yeah. that close either. So man. that's how you gotta break up these trips. So I've learned, I've cracked the code on how to fly to these places before spending a whole lot of money just flying out of JFK or LaGuardia, New York City to these places, you gotta look for like little short, short uh, places where you layovers, go, layovers. layovers, like, you know what? I could go here for a little bit. And then, you know, oh, these flights is only like uh, 150, 
one way or two hundred dollars one way to uh to parts of Africa. Well, yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Too, man. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the cheat code. That is a cheat code, guys. Because that's what a lot of people hate. They hate that long flight, man. Like mm -hmm. Africa, Thailand, it's just a long flight. But I guess you have to do that to break up the monotony. So it won't feel that. It won't feel as long. Yeah. You stay a day or two mm -hmm. in a in a, in a layo as a layover. A wine. That's a whole nother trick for you. You yeah, know, yeah, say yeah. have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it it won't be. Like it it won't be as stressful. It won't yeah. be as stressful. Yeah. Because my average cat, he usually does the whole direct flight. He tries to knock it all out. But I would prefer to do it that way. Yeah, like yeah, man. yeah. Just to break the monotony up, man. Exactly, 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 man. So what, what do you have planned for your channel in the future, bro? Oh, man. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to get some future guests on, you know. Are you going to sell any merch? Merchandise? Well, you I don't know. Well, maybe, yeah, I have thought about it. We'll see, we'll see. I don't want to jump the shark and jump the gun on that yet. Okay. But uh, hopefully one day, yeah, I will sell some merchandise. I'm trying to get bigger. But once I get bigger, then I, I start doing that. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm just trying to work on uh, getting interesting shows for people. People, you know, you know, uh, interesting topics within the travel space mm -hmm. for people. And uh, take it from there. You know, hopefully uh, the people that watch, hopefully they get some good information and get some good inf entertainment, you know, from the shows. You know, and uh, I'm just uh, focus on that, focusing on that, trying to make my normal shows, my normal live streams as entertaining and inf informational as possible, and trying to combine the two. So uh, the merchandise will come, you know, that'll all come in, in due time. But uh, that's not my main goal right now. My main goal is just to, to find topics to talk about, keep talking, because YouTube is just like, it's brutal. YouTube. You gotta keep going and going and going. You can have a great live on uh, Wednesday, but what you what 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 you gonna do on Thursday? What you gonna do on Friday? You know what I'm saying? It's like what have you done for me lately on YouTube? You know, it's just constant. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna win on YouTube, you gotta keep releasing, keep releasing, keep releasing. It's no rest for the weary, man. It's no rest for the weary. So uh, you know, I, I like I said, I'm out here in Punta Cana right now. Loving it. I'm gonna do some vlogs, a couple of vlogs, but uh, a couple of more live streams, and then uh, you know, take it from there. But uh, as far as the channel, like I said, I'm gonna just keep looking for topics to talk about, travel news. Uh, anybody got smoke for somebody? You know what I'm saying? The, the YouTube, you know, they hit me up. You know what I'm saying? We talk about it. I'll let you come on if if, 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 if I feel that it's, it's it's cool. You know what I'm saying? For the viewers, you know, it's all it's all about the viewers. It's all about if I think the viewers will be interested in the topic, man. You know. What was, what was your best smoke show? Best beef? We gotta wrap this up. Oh, you had several, but what was your best so smoke beef? So many, think? so many. Well, when Not Measy when that Zoom, now they cool right now. That Measy with that Zoom and Zoom with that Not Measy, that was a that was a great smoke show right there. Okay. That was a great smoke show right there. Uh, what about Yoga? My man Yoga. Shout out to Yoga. Yoga Yoga Nag Measy was yeah. a great. And Yoga Yoga, you know, he, he be having smoke for, for many people, you know what I'm saying? I fucked with Yoga. So, uh, that summer when I used to do the smoke shows for the park out there inside of Brooklyn, man. I remember that. The panel for the people just coming up there, you know, going at each other, you know, whether it be Yoga Yoga, Nag Measy, Travel Squad, uh, just now, now all the people, uh, Buck Travel, everybody, just they all, it, it, everybody up there just going at each other. It was just like, oh uh, man, the the crowd, the, the viewers were entertained. You know what I'm saying? But then we bring it back. And you're like, look, listen, this we all having fun. This is YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it personal. And uh, you know, we come back another day. And if y'all still got smoke, y'all come back. You know what I'm saying? But we keep it, we keep it to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We keep it to YouTube. And that's how I like it, you know what I'm saying? You got the smoke, keep it to YouTube. You let your feelings out, you vent, but we're gonna keep it to YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I try to keep it, you know what I'm saying? And I've been, I have a 100% success rate with that for the people that's been on my channel. They have kept it to YouTube, True. you know what I'm saying? No pull-ups in real life, nothing, so. Uh, There's been some pull-ups in the travel space though. But not, not see, this is where we get it. Not originating from my channel, you know what I'm saying? So the people that's been on my channel, they haven't had no pull-ups. Even though they had beefs and, and squabbles, there never have been a pull-up originated from my channel. What was the best pull-up? I got one. What was the best pull-up? 
I think the best pillow was Milano. Uh, Milano with QB? Pants with flexing? Oh, the that ring. was another one. Oh, so in the ring. That one was in the ring. Nah, the one when my man picked him up from the airport. Well, uh, oh, Third Mundo. Third Mundo. So Milano and Third, Third Mundo. Mundo. That was the uh, best Third to Mundo. me. That was yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was, was not confrontational. That was a, it that was, was, still, a, yeah. it was still amazing to watch. It was a little confrontational in, in a little bit in, in the beginning. When Mondo put his hands up? Yeah, it was a little <laughs> confrontational. And then, you know, they just, you know, you pretty much squashed it after that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if you're going to pull up, make sure you squash it after that. Hopefully. But really, I, I say, you know, I, I don't really want the pull ups because, you know, you know, somebody might get hurt or somebody might, you know, take it too far. You know what I mean? So, uh, but, but, but isn't it funny how, how traveling went to boxing matches and shit? Like, it, it, if you're gonna put up, put up do it in a boxing match, right? Set it up in the ring, if you're gonna put it up. If you're gonna pull up, set we've up We've seen in the that ring. with, 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 uh, with uh, Milano. We've seen that Milano with Milano. and QB, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So uh, if you're gonna pull up, set it up in the boxing ring, you know what I mean? Boxing, boxing ring, okay? Make it sanctioned, <laughs> not a street fight, all right? Yeah, but uh, you think the you think the the Mac Measy, the Mac Measy and the yoga fight will ever take place? It's not looking good right now. It's not looking. It's not looking good right now. No. I, I, I went. I went. Hold my breath. I went. Uh, I, I went. Put no bet down that it is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because you you don't you know you don't want to lose your money. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see that happening right now. No. Yeah, as it stands, no. I don't. Oh, I don't man. see that. Right I would now. love to see that, man. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. There's right. so many gorgeous women out here, man. I'm interviewing with Rage right now. This is a nice one pulling up right now. Hopping on a bike, on a moto, as they call them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plenty, plenty of beauties out here, man. This is amazing. Puta Kana. Uh, it's not so sewer. I'll tell you that now. It's super laid back. Mm -hmm. It's not the women are not as aggressive as the women are as the sewer. I mean, it's two different vibes. I mean, to each his own, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, tweets is on. Uh, the women are not as, a, as aggressive. They not, they're not gonna be grabbing on you when you walk in. Um, there's not as many hustlers out here. No. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, it's very, very cool. Very, very nice vibe. Uh, peaceful vibe. You know, knock on wood. You know, cause any, anything can happen, knock on wood. Peaceful, peaceful vibe. But they don't play out here. These security guards, yeah. man. They, they don't play these clubs out here. Very peaceful vibe. I like it, man. Yeah, I like the vibe. Uh, excellent, excellent trip. You know, pound for pound, my top trip. Puna Kana is lit, man. Yes. Puna Kana is lit, for sure. Hey, look, I, I just told Ray's in the club, I'm so freaking mad that I'm leaving tomorrow, man. I, I'm thinking about pushing my flight back, man. But that's I love feeling. it here, man. I that, love it here. That's that feeling you get, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy myself. Now, like I told Ray's, I'll definitely be back. But, bro, I appreciate you taking your time to give me this interview, man. You're like a celebrity, man. We started off together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, your I mean, channel has done great things, man. I enjoy watching. I always turn the notifications on. When I do see it, you're coming on. I, I watch instantly, man. So, I appreciate you. I'm sure the travel space appreciates you, bro. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me on, man. Uh, shout out to Free Society and his channel, man. Um... Uh, uh, I wish you great success in the future, free. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, does that mean I get a wrench? Yes, you get a wrench. You get a wrench soon. You get a wrench. You get a wrench. Free, I appreciate it, man. Free society I gets a wrench. I appreciate it. Be salute, salute. You know, salute to the viewers. Salute to Punta Cana. Salute to the travel space. Salute. salute to the viewers watching. And we are out. That was good, man. That was, that was good. That, that was, was good. that was 33 minutes, bro. 33 minutes. That was, that was yeah. Good.